Okay, uh, this is for Paul and Vicky in how you upload stuff into uh, onto CD. So first thing you wanna do is put it into iTunes. So up here at file, uh, add file to library. And so then you go and find your file. Now I've downloaded uh, that file you gave me out of the Dropbox and I think it's called gold CD something, something, something. Here it is, gold final call Michael. So double click on that and away it goes. So that should be adding it now. Now, sometimes it happens really quick and it just bangs it in. So the way you find it is go to playlists. By the way, I'm using the latest version of iTunes, which might be a little bit different for you. Under your playlist, there'll be one called recently added. And so see it's golden gold call final Michael. What I always do is I right click on it and then go to get info. And that gives you an opportunity to put in all this kind of different information so that if someone sucks it back into iTunes, it's going to be there. Uh, I'm not sure which particular Michael it is, but you may choose to uh, put something in there. I know uh, I always put in the artists Entrepreneur Alliance. You can see that it's preloaded. And in fact, uh, 2013 Entrepreneur Alliance. I think there's even monthly CD. Woo, yeah. Uh, and the album is um, Gold CD interview uh michael call it what you will uh and genre spoken word all right so that's what i'll what's what i do um i actually with my tracks my cds break them into tracks because 48 minutes is a pain in the ass if you get three minutes into it stop the car start it again you've got to start from the beginning uh that's something that your audio dudes should be able to do for you. And I would, even if it's just automatic five minute breakdowns, you should be asking them to do that. It's just gonna make it easier for your customer. All right, so then what you need to do is create a new playlist. You can simply just click on the plus down the bottom here, click on plus new playlist, uh, because the way that uh, iTunes works is it burns a playlist. So we'll call this uh, Michael Gold CD. Uh, and then if I go, I can search the library for Entrepreneurs Alliance Monthly CD, and we know that there's 16 of those items. Gold Final Michael. So now I just drag that into that CD. So I've done that, so I click on Done. All right, so now we've got this playlist. Then it's just a matter of finding a CD. Here's one over here. I'm now putting, you can't see this, but I'm telling you, I'm putting the CD into the drive, closing the CD drive. Now, it doesn't matter whether you've imported a WAV or an MP3 file, doesn't matter at all. Um, so now what you can do is, now that I've got a CD in there, is I can burn it. Uh, so I can right click here, and there will be an option somewhere. Mm, that ain't it, all right. So let me add two, no, nah, that's crap. Wrong one. Here we go. Burn playlist to disk. So down the bottom left hand corner, there's a little settings. Burn to disk. Um, I've got a CD in there. It tells me what it is. Uh, I have no gaps between songs. Include the CD text because any of the CD text will be about it. Make it an audio CD. Uh, click burn. Whew. Hello, baby. So it's currently burning. You'll see that it's doing the initial and blinding all this kind of stuff and it's burning away. So it's really quite simple. So with your editor, if you've got a person who's editing your sound file and giving you a WAV file, they should be able to break that down into five minute chunks for you. So when you get a disc from them or you get a zip file, you've got five minutes of, or sorry, five minute increments in your tracks um, because 48 minutes or an hour is a long time to then not have any breaks in it. So that's something that, that's quite easily done. And it's quite easily done if you've got a minion over in the Philippines or whatever, you can do simply what we've done here today, which is um, <clears throat> put it into the Dropbox, get them to do all the work over there. They'll then drop back the five minute tracks in order, make sure they've, they've ordered the track numbers. You can then suck those tracks in, burn off the tracks like this, and then um, send it to your to your person. Um, so it's a bit, uh, it's interesting that you're, final production crew are like, no, no, send us a CD. I think for them it's just easy because they can then just plop it in the burner and do it. All right, so this is now currently burning. Um, when it's finished, you'll get a little ding that says finished, uh, and then you've got your final CD. So what I'm gonna do is I will post this CD to you so that you have it and can burn it out. All right, I um, hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, give me a call. You know where I live.